Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Happy watching. While few details are confirmed at this point, many signs point to Chrysler launching a new EV model called the Airflow. Previewed by a concept that looks fairly close to reality, it's an attractively styled compact crossover that will likely ride on a new EV platform from Chrysler's parent company, Stellantis, called STLA Medium. Based on preliminary figures the company has released about its new battery technologies, the Airflow could achieve a driving range of up to 440 miles. The Airflow could arrive as soon as 2024 as a 2025 model and will serve as a rival to the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Tesla Model Y, the Volvo XC40 Recharge, and other electric SUVs. The Chrysler Airflow will be an all-new model from Stellantis, part of the automaker's expansive EV product plan. The company has already trademarked the Airflow name, which has ties to a historic Chrysler model from the 1930s. The price of the 2025 Chrysler Airflow starts at $50.000 and goes up to $60.000 depending on the trim and options. We don't have any information about the Airflow's possible trim levels or configurations, but we suspect it will offer single motor and dual motor configurations. The Airflow concept car has a dual motor setup with electric motors front and rear. Each provides 201 horsepower, but the company has not released a combined output figure. A single motor setup with either front or rear wheel drive will likely be standard, with this optional dual motor setup providing all wheel drive. Chrysler claims that the Airflow has a 118.0 kilowatt hour battery pack that will provide between 350 and 400 miles of range. This would make it competitive with the longest range versions of today's EVs from Ford and Tesla. We will update this section with information about EPA range estimates as it becomes available, and we eventually hope to run the Airflow on our real-world 75 miles per hour highway range test. The Airflow concept has a four-seat arrangement, but it's likely the production car will have a more conventional five-seat setup with a rear bench. The cabin looks airy and spacious, with a glass roof and futuristic design elements. The rear cargo area looks to hold a fair amount of stuff, although Chrysler has not provided measurements. The Airflow concept features multiple display screens, including screens for the driver, passenger, a central infotainment display, and rear seat entertainment screens. Chrysler says these screens use a new software interface and that they are capable of downloading over-the-air updates. Chrysler says the Airflow will be capable of level 3 autonomous driving but has not yet shared much information about how its STLA auto drive system works. For more information about the Airflow's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Thank you for subscribing and liking, commenting. See you in the next video.